I am a respected member of the public. I'm a soldier, mate. Honestly, when you're, when you're deep into it, right, and you look at somebody else you watching, what a, what a turn on. Do you know what dogging is? Aye. Get in the back of the car, you're going some of that. Some of that. In the back of the car, like. Yeah, you're getting yourself in a fucking taxi. Go there, turn left. Oh, there you are. There you are. The title Dog in the Love Story is um, obviously a contradiction, mm -hmm. uh, an oxymoron, uh, which is what attracted me to the idea in that, that dogging is a, um, a UK pastime involving people meeting in car parks for sex or to watch sex. And obviously a love story is not something that goes with this idea. Hello, here comes another. Now I'm leaving. Oh, ah, fuck! Oh, there's definitely a bit of dog in there, mate. Oh, cheeky little dogger. Oh, we've got his back lights on. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's brake lights. See if that guy's going to come over now. I'm loath to call it a phenomenon. It's, um, I know in the, in the American trailer they've said it's a phenomenon sweeping the nation. <laughs> Which is, you know, a bit of a, a bit, um, colourful. But I think, I think it happens, yeah. It definitely happens and it happens all over. The UK, various spots, and certainly in Newcastle, where we filmed, there were there are real locations, one of which we filmed in. You don't mind if I film this, do you? Okay, okay. When we shot the dogging scenes with the with the night vision cameras, that was interesting because we shot a lot of those um, later on, after the main shoot was done. And so people are turning up and you've just got this tiny camera. And so they're like, is this really for a film? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a big 35 millimeter film. It's a tiny camera and me. <laughs> Laura! Wait, wait, wait! It's uh, it was a learning experience, and it's um, for, for a first time feature for me, because I, I held back from making a feature for many years, and to finally do one, it was a real tough one to do. Because with a feature film, there's so many th elements to a feature film. And you might have you know, a part of it that this person loves and this person loves, but this person doesn't like. So you change this, and then this person doesn't like it anymore. And that, so it goes on, you know. And, um, and after a while, because you, you work on it so long, I mean, I edited this film alone, which was a big mistake, and it wasn't actually meant to happen that way, but it did, uh, for about 18 months. And so, I mean, to be honest, by the end of the film, a dinosaur could have walked into the shot and I probably would have thought, yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. I just couldn't see anymore. It's really hard. So for me, that was the biggest challenge, is just making sure that you don't stay so inside it that you can't see. And I think if, if it turns out, you know, in two years' time, I look at it and I think it's a complete failure, then, um, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll step back into my comfort zone. <laughs> or I'll give up filmmaking and become a wizard.